Okay, I'm gonna go for the ability here. Take out that minion horde, I hope. Okay, I'll Evo Skelly's here, then Fisherman. Oh, wait, no, the Evo Batter, I'm gonna kill them. Oh, no, dude, I think I lost. Wait. Yo, what's up, guys? In today's video, I will be trying out the new Clash Royale Tower Troop, the Dagger Duchess. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Okay, then. I guess the Dagger Duchess with the Zap fully counters a Goblin Barrel. Okay, well, <laughs> that's a pretty unfortunate way to start off the video, but basically, I'll just be trying out the Dagger Duchess and sharing my thoughts and opinions on it, and so far, I think it's broken and needs an emergency nerf. <laughs> well, honestly, that's just a bias speaking. I actually have no idea so far still. I mean, it's only one interaction, right? I am just in disbelief, though. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go for the Goblin Gang at the bridge here. Wait, what? He goes Lava Hound at the river? Okay, I'm just gonna go for the E-Spirit, then Tesla. Wait, that kind of shredded my Goblin Gang. I only got 400 damage. By the way, guys, if you didn't notice, the da the Dagger Duchess does have 200 more tower health at tournament standard level than the Princess Tower about. Okay, wait. Wait, the tower's shooting so slow. Wait, what? Wait, is this thing trash? Um, Am I dead? Wait, I actually think I lost, bro. What the heck is this? <laughs> um, okay, so it seems really good when it has all of the daggers charged because I guess, as you guys can see, the dagger duchess has like eight daggers and it charges. Like, it just wiped out those skelly drags. But if you look at the bottom where it shows the knife, it has to recharge and you get one more charge every 1.2 seconds. So I guess it's really good when it's fully charged up, but it's really bad at defending like either many units or like, a big tanky unit because it just it doesn't recharge fast enough it's one shot every 1.2 seconds like it completely sucked against the lava hound there but it was super good against the skeleton dragons man it looks like it'll be pretty bad against tombstone as well and look it's just shredding my goblin gang he's ignored like nearly everything i've played this entire game so far man log bait might be really bad against this tower troop I guess if you could distract it for a second, it would be really good, but if you can't distract it, it looks like it will be, like, absolutely terrible. I mean, I guess I'll rock it on that balloon and just see what this tower troop does. Wait, maybe if I go goblin barrel with this evil knight, the tower troop wake won't really do anything to the evil knight once it already shoots its few shots. Okay, yeah, the tower is kind of paused right there, and I guess my dagger duchess is reloading right now, so it's not really going to be too useful. Hmm. Yeah, like, it's not doing too bad. It's kind of like a pea shooter right now. Hold up. If I go Night Goblin Gang Goblin Barrel, it's going to be quite annoying for him, actually, to stop. I do have to defend the Tombstone, though, bro. The Tombstone's actually going to take out my entire tower, I think. The tower just shoots way too slow to deal with the Tombstone. Yeah, what the heck, dude? I'm getting destroyed by a Tombstone. <laughs> okay, wait. I might be able to come back, though, because the Dagger Duchess is really good against Skelly Drags when it's charged up, of course. I'm going to Goblin Barrel here, and that's actually going to be a really big threat because of the Dagger Duchess not being reloaded. Look at that Goblin Barrel. It was actually going in there. Hold up. I'm going to Princess here, and he might Evo Barb, so I'll Evo Tesla predict the Evo Barbs. Nice. Okay, wait. Hold up. I'm going to Log here. I'm going to go for the Goblin Barrel as soon as I can, and hopefully the Dagger Duchess can get targeted onto something else. Wait, those Spear Goblins are going to go in. Goblin Gang again while it's trying to reload. Princess here. Okay, it's really good when it's reloaded, but it's really bad when it's not reloaded. And unfortunately for him, I'm constantly distracting the tower. I'm going to Goblin Barrel. And that should be good game, actually. Eve log for the barbs. And GG's. Okay, nice win. And the Dagger Duchess seems hit or miss, honestly. I think it's hit or miss. All right, we're in the next match here. And to add on about what I was saying in the previous match... It looks like it's really good once it does have the daggers charged up, but if you catch them in a spot where you're able to spam them, it seems really bad against swarmy units if there's a lot of them. So, for example, like a goblin gang and a goblin barrel will be really good against the dagger duchess, but a goblin gang or a goblin barrel by itself will be really bad against the dagger duchess, I think. And then if you look here, the tower is like barely helping against a royal giant. Okay, let's see if it does anything good here. Okay, yeah, that's actually helping a lot, but now that it has to recharge, I think I'm dead. Okay, I'm going to Fisherman here. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, it's really good against individual units, but it's really bad against multiple cards. Or at least that's what it seems like. I might lose my entire tower here. Okay, at least it two shots minions instead of the Princess Tower three shotting minions. So it does do more damage than the Princess Tower. It does do less damage than the Cannoneer, but it shoots faster than both of them if it hasn't charged up. If it, I mean, if it's charged up, sorry. If it's not charged up, it shoots slower than Princess Tower, but faster than Cannoneer. So I'm not exactly sure if this Tower Troop is actually good or not. I genuinely can't tell. 
It seems to be hit or miss so far. Like, like look at that. I'm getting so much damage because the tower is barely doing any damage to it because it's shooting so slowly. And when it does shoot, it's not really that much damage compared to, like, the cannon here where it does shoot slow, but it does a lot of damage. But now that it's ch that it's charged up, it will kill, like, l l l like l pretty much anything at the bridge. And by the way, guys, that may have been the craziest stutter of my life. <laughs> it was so bad. I literally had to switch up my words there. Okay, wait. The reason I am using Royal Giant, by the way, is because I wanted to try the new tower troop with the Fisherman, where you have both towers targeting a troop at the same time. I want to see, like, how fast it shreds something if you have a second tower helping out. I think that should counter the Musketeer. Okay, only one hit from a Musketeer with the new tower troop. Okay, I'm going to Royal Giant here. He might get a Minion Horde down, but I think I should take the tower either way. Maybe? Actually, maybe not. Okay, I'm going to go for the ability here. Take out that Minion Horde, I hope. Okay, I'll Evo Skellies here, then Fisherman. Oh, wait, no, the evil batter. I'm going to kill them. Oh, no, dude. I think I lost. Wait, the other tower is helping out, though. It's doing quite a lot of damage. Okay, yeah, that batter rim got shredded by the fisherman. So it, it looks like the fisherman does work very well with the new tower. Oh, E-Spirit here, too. Oh, no, that's tower down. Okay, that was well played by Lucas. I think I may have lost, but we'll see. It seems like his deck is a really good counter to the dagger duchess tower just because you have the giant to tank for all the shots and then you have all your bait units to kind of like destroy the tower <laughs> man it looks like it will be good in some scenarios but in other scenarios it could be like terrible okay wait um i can't do anything i'm just gonna rg the middle and cross my fingers man let's just hope that dagger duchess won't take out my rg i'll fisherman here please block something uh oh my god what the heck wow that was a close one. Oh my lord all right, guys, I've come to the conclusion that this tower troop is weak against beatdown, good against cycle decks like Minor Poison, Hog Rider, stuff like that, but it is very mid against bait. It's like situational against log bait. Like in some scenarios, it's really good against bait, but some scenarios, it's really bad against bait. That's like the conclusion that I've came to. Pause. But it should be a pretty okay tower troop, at least I think. It will be very good at beating some decks, but it will be very bad with some decks, I think. Like, I think it could work out pretty well in maybe Expo, because your towers are very important. Stuff is constantly getting pulled into the middle, and you don't really need to worry about your towers not really doing anything, because you do have, like, Archers, Electro Spirit, stuff like that. So you can kind of help clear out Swarm units, and then you have, like, the Tesla and the Archers for the big beatdown pushes, as well as the dual lane towers, but I'm not really sure. I think I'll try out maybe Expo next or something like that. And it looks like Lucas is playing Golem, so this tower should be really bad against Golem, actually. Wait, look at that! It just shredded the Knight and the Lumberjack. Oh my, wow. This tower troop is actually quite good. But I want to say it's quite bad at the same time because sometimes it really doesn't be doing anything. Maybe just the entire tower troop in general is situational. I mean, I'm going to keep testing it out here for you guys, but I am not sure how this is going to pan out. And by the way, one thing I did sadly see is that next season there will be no wild cards in the token shop on the side of the events tab. So it will be actually harder to max the dagger duchess unfortunately and the dagger duchess is a legendary card just so you guys know so you will be able to use your legendary wild cards to upgrade her but obviously as you know those are not really easy to come by so i think i'll be doing a dagger duchess giveaway maybe i think i'll give away like maybe one or two dagger duchess offers because i mean i don't know how much they're going to cost but if it's anywhere like it was with Cannoneer, I don't want to ruin my bank account. I'll probably give like one, two, or three Dagger Duchess offers and call it a day. <laughs> Maybe just one though, because I'll be doing a Pass Royale giveaway as well for the Battle Ram Evolution. If it's in the Pass Royale, I don't know if it will be or not, but I will be doing a Pass Royale giveaway as always too. So I don't know. I guess we'll see in the next season, obviously, because you won't be able to unlock it in this season. This will be available next season, I think on either Monday or Tuesday in my time. Wait, I'm actually going to balloon here. That Evo Valkyrie got a lot of value. And I think the Dagger Duchess will fully counter the Lumberjack for no damage. Okay, two shots from the Lumberjack. That's not bad, though. Like, only two shots from a Lumberjack is actually quite good. And I just got rolled on defense. Wow. <laughs> I actually thought I was going to break through there. But I guess the Dagger Duchess DPS down my stuff quite well, actually. I need the Lava at the bridge. It's really my only chance. Otherwise, it's kind of game over. Yeah, it does, like, maybe, like a fourth of the lava hound it takes like maybe like a quarter of the lava hound with the eight daggers but then like after that it takes like 10 seconds to get eight more daggers so like 
is it even that good? I can't exactly tell. I think as long as you have good spells and good defense, like maybe like poisons, NATO, zaps, and stuff like that, the Dagger Duchess is actually quite good if you pair it with the right cards, same with the Cannoneer Tower. So I think it's going to be one of those tower troops where you, where you just need to pair it with the proper cards to make it viable and to make it work out. And if you pair it with the right cards, it seems to be quite strong. I mean, with his deck, it actually looks really, really good with the E-Drag, the Zap, the NATO. I mean, he, he does have a counter deck, so maybe that's why it seems like that. But at the same time, I mean, it's getting a lot of value and it's not really like hurting him in any type of way like it was in some of the other matchups. Like right here, my tower is just doing nothing. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next match. All right, guys, I will be trying it out with the Expo here, just seeing how it works, because I think this could actually work with Expo. You know, he goes for the Wall Breakers. Wait, how does that do? I think that would have only gotten one wall breaker hit and just barely two and that's with skeletons in front too e spear here for the minor how many hits is that one hit two hits and three hits okay maybe four four minor hits it's the same as the cannoneer but you do spawn with a little bit of extra hp if that was maybe an ice spear maybe that would have got two hits i'm gonna expo here see what he has i mean an another nice thing about the tower troop is that it won't affect expo in any type of way because you're never really crossing the bridge and look at that fully countering the wall breakers and it's not even close wait i can block that if i'm quick oh nice i am quick i got them quick hands e spirit here and that tesla should be dead and a pretty nice expo connection right there i'm also up a ton of elixir right now as well and the way that i see it right is it's really good against cycle decks, but it's really bad against beatdown decks. So if, you're, if your deck can actually have good beatdown defense, like maybe like paired up with the Inferno Tower and a Poison, this deck could be like, not this deck, this Tower Troop could be amazing paired with the right cards is how I see it. Wait, I'm going to log here and how much damage do I even take? Wait, I literally took like only 600 damage and that's going to be Tower Down. Like normally that would have just nearly taken my entire tower with even Cannoneer Princess Tower. But with this one, it shredded the miner and actually hit the wall breakers. That's actually so good. Well, that will be a good game. And I think that will be the video. So thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.